Hello and welcome to the January 13th, 2010 video version of Invested Central's Chart of the Day. I'm Tom Boley, Invested Central's Chief Market Strategist, and it's my pleasure to provide you with today's Chart of the Day. This Chart of the Day is brought to you by StockCharts.com, simply the web's best financial charts. Today we are featuring Delta Airlines, ticker symbol DAL. Um, this is actually being featured as a short. Uh, Delta is a $9.8 billion services company that provides air transportation for passengers and cargo in the United States internationally. Um, DAL, when you look at the chart here, you can see that just since, it, or excuse me, since November, the stock was trading just below $7. It's run up recently to almost $13. So it's been up almost 100% in just the last 10 weeks or so. That's quite a run up. Um, at the same time as we're breaking out to these new highs recently, take a look. Higher price, lower MACD. So we have a negative divergence in play. Many times these negative divergences will play out to the 50 period moving average. In this case, it's a daily chart. So the 50 day moving average. Over here, you can see the 50 day moving average currently is at $9.69. The stock finished today. Uh, or actually finished on uh, Tuesday at $12.54. So that could potentially be quite a drop. The other thing, notice that the breakout, we had resistance in here just below the $10 level. We made a breakout, came back down, retested this breakout area, and then broke out again. And you can see the volume on these moves was very heavy to the upside. So volume trends are strong on Delta Airlines. There's really nothing wrong there. It's just that the stock has gotten gone a little bit too far and maybe moved a little bit ahead of itself in the near term. Um, you can see, as I said, volume trends are strong, but notice that uh, the stock's been very overbought for the most part during the last six weeks. Uh, RSI has been above 70, stochastics have been above 80, and much of that time spent well into the 70s on the RSI and stochastics in the 90s close to 100. So clearly it's an overbought situation. We've got the negative divergence which shows that the buying momentum is maybe slowing a little bit here even though we've been seeing higher prices. And then the fact that we've got the, this open um, move back, a possible retest to a breakout level from back in the uh, early to mid part of December uh, doesn't bode well. One final thought here. Max Payne, of course we have options expiring on Friday. Max Payne, which is the point at which the in the money call premium equals in the money put premium. Um, Max Payne is just about the $10 level on Delta Airlines. So a move back to uh, rid the market makers of some of the in the money call premium, that net in the money call premium. Uh, would not be a surprise to us as well. So there's a lot of short-term factors that could put some pressure on Delta in the near term. Longer term, we still like the chart. Again, volume trends very strong. It just simply moved a, a little bit ahead of itself here in the near term. I hope you've enjoyed our presentation today. Be sure to check out our chart of the day every day at investedcentral.com. While you're there, sign up for our free weekly Market Pulse newsletter and have the chart of the day emailed directly to you. Happy trading.